what? Gadgets and organization tips and hacks in all those RV tours actually work long term. That's what we're talking about today on Real Talk Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome back to No Ordinary Path. I am Kristen. My husband, John, is a travel nurse and we live in this 37 foot travel trailer that we call Wendy. We have three kids and a dog, so we have a lot of organization to do inside this RV. And today I'm gonna to talk about some things that I've already talked about. In fact, we're gonna go through some of the videos in our organization and gadgets playlist. So you can check that playlist out up here because it's a great playlist. It has a lot of great information in it. There's some things that we have said in the past, especially when we were newbie RVers, that were good in the beginning, but they did not stand the test of time. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna look at in this playlist is our original RV tour. We filmed it 4th of July in 2018 and we were super fresh on the road, like two weeks fresh on the road. And then we updated it before we even released it once we were three months in because by three months we were experts. Come on in. Straight up experts. Straight up experts. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we John and I really don't like this couch. It, we have never liked this couch. The bed is the most uncomfortable bed ever, but we haven't been able to upgrade it because it costs a lot of money and weight issues and all that stuff. It now houses a keyboard, which we've gotten out twice, maybe. <laughs> which is super sad because if we had a house, I think that it would be out all the time and it would get played, but it's very hard to get in and out. The table, the booth, oh my gosh. Mm. I remember the booth. It was so hard for all of us to sit around it and the storage underneath was rendered almost useless because it was so difficult to get to. Plus the bed, we used the bed one time. That's the only time we ever used it and it was because we were boondocking in miserable heat and Aaron slept out here so that he could get a breeze. We ripped out the booth in Reno you can see that clip here. And it was a great project. We decided to keep one side of the booth and take out the rest of the U dinette. We replaced it with an Ikea table, which we were very excited about. Mm. And a lot of our viewers use this fancy table from Ikea. And we, we did keep it for three contracts. It, the, the thing was so heavy, it was like, such a pain, but we couldn't ever leave it up when we traveled because it just bounced. It would literally like hop as we were going down the road and bang into our cabinets. I mean, you should see the cabinet over here. It's it's totally torn up and that's because the table would shift and move. And no matter what position we put it in, it still moved. We'd close it all the way up and we'd move it all the way over to this little tiny spot between our bedroom door and where the slide closes in. And even still, it would tip over. It put a hole in our wall. That thing was just the most, it was just, it was huge. And it was nice to have space, a big table space, but the problem was because of the legs on it, we couldn't get the chairs to go nicely around the table where your knees would be right under the table. Because it had this like um, drawer system here, which we thought was great. But let me tell you something, this is a freebie tip. The more storage space you have, the more junk you will keep. You just keep adding things when you have more space to store it. I digress. Okay, so the table's gone, and now we have this nice folding table, which is actually a card table of all things, and I think it's unavailable on Amazon right now, but we'll put the link down there just in case. We fold it up and we store it right here next to the wall when we move with stuff pushed against it. It doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so let's keep going. Norwex towels. I was so excited about these Norwex towels. Mm. Look, I have them all like organized and hung all pretty and there's even some in the bathrooms, like the little washcloths. Listen, Norwex is a great product. I think, I really do believe it's a great product. We, I never sold it, I just really enjoyed it. It's super absorbent and like supposed to be like clean with the silver in it and antibacterial, whatever. 
The problem is this is so antibacterial that it collects all the bacteria and they stink. If we had our own washing machine and could wash them properly every single time and know what residue was left in the washing machines, then they might not have stunk, but they got to the point, no matter what I did, they, I could not get the smell out of them and I would put them in a laundry bag with everything else and then all of our clothes would smell like that. It was, it was disgusting. And my regular towels never smelled like that. Labeling all the toys. <laughs> Look at this, it's so pretty. See all these boxes are so pretty. Yeah, that doesn't work, not long term. <laughs> Not for our kids anyways, and then we went to like sometime around Columbia right after Christmas. We just got like a one box, a toy box for Chloe, and then that thing filled to the brim because the more space you have to store, the more you're going to keep. <laughs> and now we uh, simply make the kids keep whatever they want to keep in their beds. Ethan has a shelf um, that's hung up on his walls with screws. And Aaron has like a bookshelf, really the top of a desk that we found at Ikea. And it has like two shelves on it. And Chloe doesn't have any shelves, but she has a nice drawer that you can pull out and then like a box on top of that. And then she has this cute little animal bed that she got for her birthday that has all her stuffed animals in it. And that is it. That's all she has now. And you know what? She's perfectly happy with that. And I really hope it stays that way. Kristen's top hacks. This is funny. This is funny. It, I, I love how I'm talking about it in this as if I'm like totally an expert three months into RV living. The basket with the command hooks was something that I saw and thought was cool. It did not last long at all. The little baskets like broke apart and the cheap Dollar Tree command hooks fell off of the inside of my cabinet. The toilet paper in the cabinet and it worked for a while, but do your kids gingerly pull toilet paper off of the roll? Because mine just yank, and every time they yanked, it came off. Maybe maybe it will work better for you. Basically, the theme here is that if it's, if it's cheaply made and made of plastic, it's probably not gonna last long. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Let's go to this one. This is the one year in RV tour, which actually I really like this video. You should go watch it because at the very end we have a Nerf war and that's my favorite part of the whole video. So you should check that out. Um, it's up here for you. Shoe caddies. They did not last. They, we tried to make them last. They didn't last. They just, they would rip off. We even drilled them in. The Screw, screwed them in with gamma. Screwed them. What's the difference? A drill goes through to make a hole. The oh. screw stays. We, <laughs> we screwed them. Okay, we screwed them into the cabinets. <laughs> they ripped and then we tried to duct tape them. Same thing with the kids. They would like shove them in there as hard as they could and then they would rip them out and they're just, they're not ginger with anything. So they did not last on the insides of the cabinets. And then the same thing under our bed, they just kept like ripping off and they just, they, they didn't stand the test of time for sure. Now, if you're a weekender, those might be really great options for you. They did not last for us. The thing with all these cutesy pictures that I'm showing you in this video is that they're all on the walls with command stickers. But if you're anywhere where there is humidity, forget it. They are falling off your wall. They're going to fall off. Just plan on replacing them often. Humidity is bad. Dust can also be bad. When we were in Phoenix, we had to replace them a lot because we'd get dust all over our walls and then it would get into the command stickers and they wouldn't stay. So they're a necessary evil, but when you can, I would suggest screwing things into the wall when you can. I wouldn't go overboard, but we have a nice like book thing that from that video you'll see it works really well. And we've recently screwed in a shelf for Ethan and that has worked really great too. Let's go on to the grocery haul. This is real life. This grocery haul is pretty awesome because that's what it looks like every time I go grocery shopping. We literally have groceries everywhere cutting boards. This seemed like a really good idea in the beginning, and I think that it still is a good idea, but again, you gotta love them, kids. So we have a right side and a wrong side for cutting. We decided to use sink covers as our cutting boards because they're kind of made from that same kind of plastic, hard plastic material, and we originally put a C with a magic marker on the cutting side. 
and over time you can't tell anymore you can't tell which side is supposed to be the good side and which side is not so if you want it to stay nice I wouldn't do that I would just get yourself a cutting board maybe like a roll-up mat cutting board but this at this point we aren't gonna do that because I don't want to put another thing inside this RV we're just gonna use it we have to buy milk okay. in half gallons but what? our family what? can kill a half gallon what milk. are you doing we try to get by with two maybe three half gallons in a week but I only buy two at a time because I don't have anywhere else to store them in a regular size what? gallon jug you can fit a regular size gallon jug in this fridge and you can fit one in the outdoor fridge if you turn it and shove it in there Pro tip. <laughs> Pro tip. Since we took out all of our storage, we needed a plastic drawer set. It looked nice, but it was not sturdy. And all along, I was worried that my children would try to sit on it. One time I caught Aaron with the pillow on the table and his whole body was stretched out between the table, the drawers, and the top of the couch. Of course, that did not stand up. It's plastic It and it's, you know, in a basement, like in a storage basement of a fifth wheel, that would probably be great. But somewhere inside where someone could set something heavy on it or sit on it, don't bother. Again, what happened is we had three huge drawers and guess what? We filled all three drawers with junk. <laughs> that is gone now thank goodness this has been a lot of talking i hope you've enjoyed this i've really enjoyed going back looking through some of um, our older videos and i'm wondering if you think that this would be helpful for us to go back on different topics that we've covered before and give you an update on what it's like two and a half years later so if you think that would be helpful let us know in the comments it could be pertaining to travel nursing or or homeschooling or rving in general if you have any ideas, let us know in the comments and we will put a video out about it. And other than that, thank you guys for joining today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and like and leave us a comment if you're new so we can welcome you. That's it for today. We'll see you out there. We screwed them into, into the insides of the cabinets. What if we screwed them? <laughs> Stop it! Screw them into a wall or into a cabinet, they'll last you forever. <laughs> you need to do a screw counter. I know, I do. <laughs> Pretty much screwing things makes it last. <laughs> What's the theme of this video? I really like this video. <laughs> I can't put half of this stuff in here. Yeah, you could put in the bloopers. <laughs>